Hello, welcome back to another episode of Only Fians with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and our illustrious guest. Uh, you know him from, I don't know, he's on, he's Comedy Central. I mean, he's got special. How many specials do you got now? What kind of intro is this? I'm not done yet. You don't know? Comedy Central? I was I like mean, Comedy Central 48 years 48 ago. 48 years ago. But like, oh, you know what? Netflix, you're, Rogan. Netflix. You know what? Um, YouTube. You're on a new show on True TV right now. No, it's not on True. What's it on? CW. It's C- on the CW. CW. Yeah, you're giving me my worst credits. But yeah, that's a cool show. Tonight Show. Tonight Show, Conan, Twice, Fri- Letterman. Friends with Louis C.K. Is that a credit? I don't know. Are you cool with them? I can't tell. Yeah, I mean, this is a yeah, very I mean, yeah, we're this is a close. very sex positive podcast. We never kink shame on this podcast. Then we're close. We're pro kink here. Yeah, we, I mean, we made a movie. I mean, yeah. I have a, a, a eight million views on one special, two million on eight another special. Eight million. That's right. That's on right, YouTube? folks. And you can be one of them right now. Can you shout me out? <laughs> Everybody, go check out Karen <laughs> Fian. One of the best. One of the best comics going. Make sure you check her out. Follow her. <laughs> really good intro. <laughs> Really good intros with their guests when they come on. Yeah, she's perfect. <laughs> yes, but yes, I was on Comedy uh, Central in 2008. And 2015, I did a comedy I was just like, hour. I was going alphabetical. I think I'm having a heart attack. Yeah, you are reminding me of when I, like right before I had shingles, it was like a pain that was at the top of my breath that wouldn't go away. Like, that's my thing that's concerning, I think, about your situation. Well, yeah. But sh- I'll take shingles. I'm just afraid I'm dying. Dude, you don't want shingles. I love no, shingles. No, 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 no. No, shingle sucks. I heard, but I have herpes, which is shingles of the dick. Right, right, right. Or so, pussy. Or pussy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> do you want to do, what about some chamomile tea? I'm okay. I mean, I, you know. If you bring me chamomile tea, I'll bring, I don't want to make uh, this gentleman make me chamomile tea. Hot water, just hot water. Hot in a bag. He, he'd probably hot. fuck it up though. Hot water in a bag. Um, I was just eating at Chipotle, but, and I could really feel it. The spiciness? No, it ain't the Affecting. spiciness. It's a sh- a shooting pain. I it's I'm telling stress. you, when I I do think it's stress related. You had a why were you stressed out at the Boston Marathon? Well, I did. I, you were I, afraid they were going to bomb it again. I was there for the bombing. I'm a survivor. Oh, so you went back to celebrate. I go back every year. For the anniversary of yeah. the bombing. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> That's right. Um, why do you celebrate your sets? Hey! The anniversary Joseph of those? Joseph Elizabeth Bliss. <laughs> Elizabeth Liss is my aunt. Betty Liss. I love Elizabeths. Well, she's cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Yo, Lizzie. <laughs> Her name is Betty, but whatever. So you just watched the marathon, and did that stress stress you out? Well, All those people fa- jogging? I was with my family, and the family's stressful. The big yeah, oh, tell family. me about and it. You're a fa- similar family, so I assume. Many. Boston, yes. Irish, South Shore. They stress you out. Yeah, very what? much. And then I did a big theater show, the Wilbur Theater, sold, sold out. Sold it out. Wow, hometown. that's impressive. That was stressful. Who opened for you? Sarah Talamash. Fuck yeah. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful woman. That's a lovely weekend in Boston, it sounds like. And also Jason Cantor. Okay. And Mike Whitman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's the best. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're going to wrap it up soon, but we'll make it cordial. You know, we'll be friends. You are never going to wrap it up. You're together forever, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, we're soulmates. That's right. Oh, I love me some Sarah Tolomash. How about this? I don't want to say uh, who the comic was, but I was with a comedian at the stand the other day. We both... Killed, great set, great comic. And then a woman walks out of the show, very attractive woman. She goes, you guys were awesome. And then as she leaves, I go, we got to get divorced, buddy. And he goes, no, dude, I love my wife. And I'm like, oh, what a loser. I'm like, Why I'm like I, well, I love my mother? wife. No, now he's making you feel like you're a real scumbag. Yes, and I feel like <laughs> I love my wife more than you love yours because I'll make a joke. And, and I'm like, that secure. I can make a joke about leaving my wife for this random woman at a comedy show. Exactly. And uh, he really, he fucked me. So he What stinks. a fucking loser. What an earnest loser. I bet he cheats. Yeah. No, oh, I love my wife. I do think that men sometimes that are like, I'm faithful. I'm so faithful. I'm faithful. Why you got to say it so much? Yeah, exactly. That's why I just say I cheat constantly. Cheater, cheater, every, cheater. Every show, every gig. <laughs> cheater, even when cheater. she opens for me, I just <laughs> suck a guy off the back while she's on. Pants on fire. Cheater, cheater. What a view. Do you like it? 
Yeah. Are you allowed to? I can't like imply where you live, though. Oh, yeah. Who is the worst about where I live? Talking about terrorism and stuff. It was pretty funny. Jamar? No, that wasn't him. You don't remember any of our episodes. Oh, I hate him. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. I don't care. What, do you think they're coming for me with that fucking big beast that lives in my house? Come. Try to kidnap me. I dare you. She'll rip your fucking throat out. I'm terrified of your dog. You were. I thought you were going to alpha the shit out of her and you came in. I had to put her in my room. Uh, hey. Pain. Hey. It's a dog, okay? You're, These are wild beasts. You, Their assholes can, are exposed. They have long teeth. If you can alpha a man, you can alpha a man's best friend. I don't understand. You've Every time I've ever seen you, it's alpha, alpha, alpha. Where the fuck's my chamomile, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I want my kid. Well, a dog is a different thing, but also the dog is, it, it's gone. I'm not gone. The dog is. So ultimately. Oh, you think alpha you did. alphaed her by That's giving right. her a bone and letting her lie in my bed? I'll give you a bone. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. We're Kill cooking. the cameras. We're cooking now. <laughs> oh my God. My chest. What is happening? Oh, you went, like this. And I thought maybe you could smell the, I have a kitchen. I, my dishwasher's broken. You know, they're only raising my rent $35. What? That's what is this, 1928? That's what I said. I was like, this must be a mistake. I signed it immediately. Mine went up $200. Yeah, yeah. I was well, scared mine was going to go up like 800 or something. Give me a figure. Can I get a, a ballpark on what you're paying a much? month? How much? How much? How much do you think? I haven't seen the whole place yet. No. I will. Uh, I'm guessing 4400 47 Close. Too high. 46 45 4532. Sure, around there. <laughs> okay. You're close. You're Not close. crazy. Not crazy, right? Imagine if I had a life partner. Yeah. That I could share this with or uh, double it. What do you mean? It's either like I move somebody moves in and then suddenly my rent's cheaper or oh. I meet someone who's like crushing it and then we get a fucking bigger place with a staircase and a piano. That sounds nice. Right? Would you like a guy that plays piano when you wake up? No, I'd be like, you're gay. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> or he's like, <laughs> gay. That is gay. <laughs> Are you tickling the ivories? You're gay. <laughs> you're fucking queer. <laughs> no, I'd, whatever. I don't know. It's a nice place. I do have to say, I was picturing floor to wall windows. Yeah, that's. Floor to ceiling. What's it called? Floor to old, ceiling. This is an old building, though. This was like, these are from the 80s, these buildings. And this is like oh, pretty affordable for this neighborhood, you know? These right. Are, there's other people that have floor to ceiling windows. Certainly, there are people that have floor to ceiling not windows. Me. Not me. No. Well, with a little luck, this episode should skyrocket right to the top. What are we talking for views here? Hundo, 100,000, 200,000? 200K minimum. Really? Yep, depending on the guest. I'm I'm a get. Don't you think I'm kind of a get? I've seen say, some clips heavy, on your I was Instagram. Say heavy hitter. I'm a lot. It's a lot of like what? Who's Ooh. this fucking loser? Yeah, it's a real choo choo. I know. And I was like gonna tell you. I was like heavy. We haven't had that many heavy hitters. Jolis is a heavy hitter. And I assume this pays because it was quite a haul down here. I'll Venmo you. Yeah. Yeah. You, you tell will. me what you think your performance is worth, and I'll double it. Forty four hundred. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jojo, <my go-to>. <laughs> he's crazy. So Stress, what's it right? like? What's it like to feel like you know just a successful comedian, you know that people respect, not like a butthole model like me? Uh, well, I think first of all, I think people have respect for you. I, th- I think you're a wonderful comedian. And I tell everybody that. Why? Yeah, I think. Oh. Well, I think you're very funny. Oh, thanks, John. Yeah, Sarah and I are big Karen Fian fans. I love the uh, the Talamash household, as I call it. Yeah, I call it that too. <laughs> I call myself Joe Talamash occasionally. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Um. <laughs> What's it like? It's like, I don't know. For right now, it's like having a stabbing chest pain in my ribs you when think, I breathe. What do you think this um, is stemming from stress-wise? Probably probably stress. Well, you know, we got a lot going on. Uh, travel and and gigs and the stuff. You know, it's a, I'm a stressed out guy. Yeah. My family's very, uh, you know, you know how it is. I know. But they're a tough gang. A lot of drinking, a lot of not a lot of emotions and feelings, a lot of depression, and um, it's a hard, big right? show. Yeah, and then and things fester. Like in my family, like we just like don't talk about elephants in the room sometimes. You exactly. Know? Yeah, nothing's getting addressed, nothing's getting resolved, yeah. and then also like you know Monday was the marathon and the Red Sox. We all went and you went to the game. You went to Fenway. Go to the Red Sox game every year. We go watch the marathon every year. Yeah, but. And I know you're 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 joking around here like I'm some beta asshole, but 
we had 16 people going, 11 people, excuse me, 11 people. And I'm like the city guy. I'm the organizing guy. You're the guy because you're home and people are like, Joe's in town. Let's get together too, though. Yes. I'm a big gatherer of people. And then so I drive the car and then so-and-so is following me and then I got to find the parking. and Finding parking near Fenway. It's very stressful. And then like, okay, we're all going here. Plus it rained. It was cold and you got to drive back. Do you feel like you have patience? Um, sometimes it depends on the situation. I really have to work on my patience. I feel, I feel, I felt like a pimple come out of like a, a like rage once in a while. Like I'm I'm like, and then all of a sudden I have a pimple. I feel that way. Instead of pimples, I have chest pain, but I just had We're going to get an EKG going. I would love that. But I just came here to your neighborhood. Won't say which one, but... I was like, I'm going to go early. I'm a psychotically early person. It's always better to be early than late. Of course. So I'm like, let me get a burrito. I got Chipotle. to Chipotle at 123. I got my burrito at 138. That's a little long for Chipotle, no? That's ex- it, yeah. extremely long. Am I wrong? Long. That's, yeah, that's supposed to be fast, right? Well, they were back there having a nice time. I They're- hate when they enjoy themselves. I hate when employees at Chipotle enjoy themselves. Well, the one guy was doing, he was doing a trick with the bag. Each bag, he would... F- Oh, he was Flop doing it. art. He was doing like magic and he was <laughs> juggling a fucking spoon or whatever. Just having a nice time back there. And I was going to have my burrito, shove it up my ass, yeah. get a cup of tea. And then... Were you going to get tea at Le Pan Quotidien at the little cafe in front of my place? Is that how you say it? Le Pan Quotidien. I was going to get it at uh, a little place called Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then I thought I was going to get it here, but fucking, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting outfit again. I mean, Pat could already have the water boiling. He's just a dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah. He's a bump on a log. Boy. I think the chamomile is really going to help you. It's lavender too. A little lavender chamomile. I had some chamomile last night. I think I have to come down. I think I got jacked up. There's other big stuff going on. Well, I mean, that's a lot to do in one weekend. You're headlining a sold out show at the Wilbur. You're doing the Red Sox and the marathon and the family. You really overloaded your plate, I think. I know. And then driving back, it was Sarah's birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah Tolmash. Yeah, the big 3-8. There you go. And listen, (laughs) listen. Um, do you feel fine that Sarah helps to relieve stress? Because having a partner to sort of unload on in private after you've been with your family seems helpful to me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about unload. We, you know, we, <laughs> we, uh, well, I lo- in unloaded, her, in her. unloaded in her <laughs> box. <laughs> I almost said the C word, but I don't know what kind of show this is. What? This um, show? Yeah. OnlyFans. Is this on OnlyFans? Yes. Are people going to see it? Yeah. Is it going on YouTube also? Yeah, it goes on YouTube. It doesn't go on OnlyFans. <laughs> what would, what? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Only. I'm only like half no. familiar with OnlyFans. You're such a virgin. I know, I know. I'm really You're gay. the opposite of creep. I just had a comic tell me that he watches all of his pornography on Twitter, which I did not know was a thing. I felt like I'm like old man Witherspoon. He was like, Twitter is check it out. Wild West. Like, yeah, there's like full on like little novellas of like porn, like little like short porns. Yeah, I had no idea. I'm still jerking off to Save by the Bell and you Kelly know, Kapowski. Or Jesse or Ooh, Lisa. Jesse, come on! You don't like I just Jesse? Ate. <laughs> oh, no, that's so me. She was the horrendous. brains. Yeah, the brains stink. No, she Kapowski. AC Slater though. AC Slater arguably hotter than Zach. No, get out of here. They were a hus- sexy couple. They were well. Zach fucked everybody, including sure Tori, did. the lesbian. Uh, yeah, like Lisa. a lesbian. Came Lisa Turtle. In. Lisa Turtle. What then? Do you remember Tori? Oh, right, right. Tori. She was right. like the bike, like clear the biker lesbian, chick, yeah. yeah, biker with leather. We remember Lear Ramini or Remini yes. was on that show too, and he fucked her too. Yes, he got after it. Yeah, she was cute then, and, and she they, got all like Scientologists and like. I also like that they all played on every team. Like Zach was on the baseball team, the basketball team, the football team, and a track star. Obviously, he was Zach Morris. He had and a cell phone. He was so fucking hot. He was hot. Yeah, it was Kelly one, Zach two, and then uh, also I feel bad. You're really making the tea. Chamomile. Why is it red? Oh, There's it's, no chamomile. It's you made the, it up. Um, it's the sleepy tea. But oh, uh, you really you're... fucked up. No. It's... Oh, hibiscus. That's good to lower blood pressure. Do you want the hibiscus? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want some hibiscus yeah, because that's good for blood pressure. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm having. Anything red is really anti-inflammatory too. Including period blood, folks. Yeah, just do shots of period blood. And yeah. Uh, really, if you're feeling inflamed, it'll calm it down. That's what I do. I put a mug on the thigh and I just pull it up pull and just collect up. everything and then right down the hatch. 
<laughs> I heard he mothered something. I out hope there. he burnt himself. I hope he got a third degree burn on his stupid fat finger and it blisters and pusses. My mom's in the hospital fighting off an infection right now. Actually, Ooh. they sprung her at like 1 p.m., but she was there since Friday. Oh, no. I know. Her surgeon, she got an infection in her foot that she had surgery on. You know, hospitals are just like prisons. They're scary. I get very uh, triggered, as a, even as an alpha. You know, even alphas occasionally will get a little fucked up at a hospital. But have I go to the broken, hospital, I just, it, it kills me. Have you ever broken a bone or had surgery or needed ox, to take Oxycontin? Um, that was a lot of questions at once. Yeah. I've never broken a bone. I've had severe ankle sprains twice, mm. including the day I graduated high school. At my graduation party, we were playing volleyball, and it just went like, boom, like a shotgun. And it was a real, like... Uh, what do you call that metaphor for the rest of my life? I was like, I'm free. And I just immediately went to the hospital. No, you're not. And then uh, I had uh, some stitches in my knee. I had appendicitis. That was a surgery. And I also had my uh, tonsils taken out when I was a Younger. boy. Appendicitis, they put you under though? Yeah. Yeah, they got to. Yeah. And then I had recently had an upper endoscopy, which is a nice little free lapse. They put you on propofol and you wake up whoa, all. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's an upper endoscopy? That's when you have... the upper part of your intestine? Um, I'd like to guess. I think it's... Well, it's, <laughs> mine was for like a reflux, which yeah. could be what I'm dealing with now, but I don't think so. Isn't but, reflux more in the center? Yours sounds to me like it's like along your ribs. Yeah, mine's over here. It's yeah. rib area. Yeah. Um, that makes me think it's shingles. It's like nerves. That's what it feels like. Yeah. But I feel like I've had this before. I think it's stress. I yeah, I think that you could like stop it. Like I think you can stop the onslaught of the like the stressful if you I don't know, you might need a massage. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to my guy. He just hurts me though. He looks like the mean guy from Squid Games and he just fucks me up. Like flips my legs around. That looks unbelievable. That's healthy. Thank you. I appreciate that. That looks nice, Pat. That's going to lower my blood pressure. Can I have one? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, no, I, but um, I did the upper endoscopy. That's where they put, they put a camera down into your sh shit. Are you awake for that? No, they put, yeah, they use propofol. That's the Michael Jackson drug, which I highly recommend. Do you, so you're out, out? Out, out. Okay. It was like, they got, they did the thing, count backwards from 10. And then when they put the medicine, I could feel it like coursing through my veins. Right. And I was like, oh, oh I don't like that. And the guy was like. Oh, don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. You're going to be stupid. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I woke up, I had like a good buzz. And oh. I remember texting a couple people, like wacky texts. And I was like, we should meet up, bro. So you and I don't drink. Like, yes. And I told my doctor, I was like, I have a tattoo that says don't serve me. Like I'm an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And he was like, ha, 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 ha. Here's 30 oxys. I just For went, your hand? Yeah. Oh. I did not. I took six. I didn't even need that many. But isn't that kind of nuts if you're like pretty, like, are you honest with your doctors? Well, first of all, I never go to the doctor. I just went to the doctor for the first time in like 10 years. Right. And they told me my blood pressure is too high, my cholesterol is too high, and now I'm having chest it's pain. It's stress. So uh, I think so. But any jizz, I would, I am honest with my doctors. There's like a little open micer who's just like, like just wants to be you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, do you ever think about that? Like, there's so many people that would kill for your career. So don't stress anymore. Well, that's not what I'm stressed about. My career is wonderful. What are wonderful. you stressed about? But you, I stress about career sometimes. You know, there's no guarantees. You got to sell more tickets, yada, yada. Your family just stresses you out. Family and... Um, but you can't do yeah. anything about them. They're, I know. It's beyond your control. I know. I'm trying to let go. Believe me, I go to therapy. I go to AA. I meditate. It's a whole... I'm, I'm constantly... Work, I'm exercising. Yeah, I know. You're healthy. Do you do MMA? I did for a long time. I haven't gone in a while, but currently right... Well, we're not right this second, but right before this second, I was listening to a podcast about um, mixed martial arts, and it was really keying me up to go back. Again. Go back. I should go back. All right. Just want, me not, want me to choke the fuck out of you? Huh? I mean, that's why I looked over. Wait, wait, like, wait, I wonder this. what this would look like. Wait, like <laughs> I did a, a joke in my act. I'm like, the, I did this amount of training. I could fuck someone up if they were fully cooperating with me. <laughs> They agree. Like if I was like, you sit on the ground with your back to me and don't fight back, I'll fucking destroy this You're man. You're done. But um, yeah, if you just start fighting back, I'm probably in trouble. <laughs> but I, I could choke you out if you want. Cool, cool, cool. Choke you out. We could, you know, lick her body parts. Nothing weird. Nothing weird. Just yeah. MMA stuff. Not like sex, but just like, no, you know. You know, just like jujitsu, how the they thigh, do the licking part. Yeah, thigh, forehead, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Nothing crazy. That's like some Dalai Lama shit. <laughs> 
I just heard about that on you this just podcast. Heard about that? Just heard about it just now. That's funny that missed your news feed. That was like my whole fucking life for 24 hours, the tongue sucking. Well, one of the things I do is uh, that I am good about with sucking minimizing tongues. stress is sucking <laughs> old men's tongues. No, is um, avoiding new. I don't know a lot of news. I just heard about this Bud Light trans business Stop. a couple days ago. Yeah. Did you hear about the um, garage that collapsed? Oh, I sick. did. And that school, that's where my niece is going to school next year. In Manhattan? Pace University, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just it was right by. there, yeah. One person died. I know. Five injured. Anyway, so how do you avoid the news? Are you just off social media? Do you have like a, a limit that you put where you're like, I have one of those limit things, but no. I, don't, I don't really listen to it. Well, this is the thing. I'm on social media, but like, A, I'm looking at my own numbers and comments and likes and shit or messages, which mm -hmm. I get a lot of, but... My oh, algorithm. Excuse, excuse me. Well, I mean, <laughs> probably not as many as you. Almost oh, so Mr. Messenger over here. I got a lot. You want to get loaded? DMs you are the best here. comedian I've ever whoa, 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 seen whoa, whoa, ever. No way. Oh my god, you're number one. That's a, Holy those are for shit. Me. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna do this for your intro. Um, sound good? Comedy Central. <laughs> but my algorithm is like Michael Jordan highlights and baseball shit. Yeah. So I don't get news. I just get like, oh, there's a layup from 1987. See, I follow like No Jumper and like stuff like that. So I don't know what that I is. I get like hood news and like weird stuff. Oh. You know the you know the comedian Earthquake? Yeah. I'm not do, personally. Do you follow him on social media? Maybe. I don't think so. He posts just like wild articles about like stuff too. Like not, not it's not always funny. It'll be like, oh, this, I don't know, mm. mother got arrested for, I don't know, stealing from Walmart or breastfeeding. There was a high speed chase or this lady like fucked up her car at a gas station. I don't know. It's, I don't know why I brought this up. I'm trying, yeah. to, trying to figure out like where to go from it. We'll cut this. Just cut this part out. <laughs> Take my sock off. Oh, this this will help retention. Huh? No, I mean my foot fall asleep. What happened? This is so we can keep the viewers. Jump. Don't worry about it. Oh. Don't worry about it. What what's going on with the? That's the, the countdown. That's actually how many jokes I've told, and then the second number is how many of you told. Oh, I see. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> it's really I breaking. I think I can smell your foot. <laughs> Is it bad? Yeah, something just changed. Maybe it's the tea that got close to me, but. Hold on, let's check. There's an odor that just changed. <laughs> Pat, shut up. I work out, okay? I'm athletic. Sometimes my feet smell. I mean, it's subtle. I don't know. Something, something changed. I'll just hold this to my face. <laughs> Pat, can you do me a favor? See that piece of wood? Light it on fire, and then it'll smell nice. No, yes. wash your foot. No, That's no, no, better. no, no. We'll That's light how the you wood. get the views. We'll light the wood and wash my eyes. <laughs> Will you wash my feet like Mary Magdalene washed Jesus' feet? So if the chest pain got better when I got here, we started chatting, hanging out. That means it's probably stress related. It's got to be because your mind's off it right now. That's not what I told you to do, Pat. You deliberately oh. disobey me. You deliberately disobey me. Do you have one? Some of this scent? In oh, I do. We have a, do we like, have that like exact that? thing. What yes. What is it called again? That wood? Sar tarragon sandal. In incense. It looks it's like a big incense. joint. Now let now let it go and put it right by the window so the breeze blows the niceness in. That's and then nice. Joe can shut the fuck up about my stank foot. I didn't. My it wasn't like I was like going on and on about it. So much worse. Really. When I was dating this guy in my 20s, I was a severe alcoholic. Sure. And my socks would get so dirty and crusty, they would become solid. I've had that, but totally different. Because <laughs> of cum in them? Yeah, I put the cum in them. So my feet do tend, will smell from time to time. And I will be honest, this pair of socks I wore this morning to walk my dog, and then I wore them to work out, and then I put them back on. How often are you working out? I feel like you're never not working out. You probably, probably have good mental five health days a week. from all the working out. But you do like an hour thing. Yeah. This is where I'm so bad. I go to the gym. I do a curls and then a bench press. And then I'm like, let me just get to that steam room. I just want to get into oh, the steam I room. Oh, I love the steam room. Don't I, get me wrong. I'm an amenity girl. I can work. I can get good cardio if I go to MMA or if yes. I play basketball. And you, the, long, the running is or great. Or go for a run. But if uh, just going to the gym and like walking on a tr or whatever the fuck, riding a elliptical. You that's know what's gay. cool about my? I'm gay. Yeah, me too. You know what I like about my gym, Lifetime, is that these treadmills have routines on them. 
Right, but you still got to self motivate to do it. Yeah, but I but do you see what I'm saying? Like it's somebody telling you to do the thing. Oh, like, there's like a screen. Yeah. So, okay. And it's they're it's goofy shit. You look like an asshole too. It'll be like side steps, and you like have to, I'd have to hold onto the rail. Like you do like things, and then you do sled pushes. I love a sled push. I think this the sled push really targets the top of my ass, mm. and that's what I want. I want everything higher. Right where the semen goes. Right where the semen. Right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> the top of the ass. Do you do? <laughs> have you ever done Orange Theory? Uh, no, but I could, and I would probably be the best. Yeah, that's not what I was getting at. But uh, I did it once, and it's like a cult. It was yeah. great. But they call you four times, four phone calls after to get you to come back. Yes, and then you can't do just one class after. Now you got to buy a package. Exactly. You got a free class, the and discount. then they're like, and then you're in. Package. And then do they like have you work in pairs in those type of classes? Sometimes do they group you and? There's a group, but it's like just split in half. I only did it once, but okay. it was like seven people and seven people. There was no pairs. I go to this place called Fitting Room sometimes that I really enjoyed. Well, I haven't been there since I broke my hand, so like a month. Is that too hot? No, no. You the just taste, don't like it. The taste it. is aggressive, but that's what hibiscus you is. You got to take the tea, take it out. It's gonna be I know, but there's going to be a red bag. I don't want to put it on your... Um, go, Pat. Go quickly. I'm sorry. Well, he should have brought, you bring a, a discard a, a plate. A dish, a little dish, yeah. You know, do I have one in there? I don't know. I mean, he should, you should just grab a paper towel and fold it up. That's very nice, though. The people won't like Is me it? slipping it in the microphone. I hold just hold it right up. I don't like it when they force partnerships on you in fitness classes, but sometimes they do in fitting room. Let's help them out. You're some some countries force partnerships on you. Yeah. You turn 14 and they're like, here's a cow and then here's your wife. Hold on. I got to put the microphone down so I don't drip. Yeah. Drip too hard. You can have the biggest Chanel bag in the store if you want it. Do you know that song? Um, no, but I know you can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. There's an NFL, former NFL player who's now the host of a CBS morning show who's like in my DMs and says he wants to spoil me and like give me money and stuff. Whoa. Yeah, he's fully married with like grown kids. Do you Holy want to guess who it is? You never will. Um, I don't know the Unless, CBS part. Yeah, yeah. Can you give me more football clues? I don't, I don't White guy or black guy? Black guy. Yeah. I don't want to I was ruin. just asking to be courteous. I actually, I kind of want him to like give me money, so. <laughs> yeah, Joe, obviously. Jerome Bettis. What are they? <laughs> I don't know. That is that right? Is. No. No. But. Um, Jerry Rice. I don't like him, though, you know. Andre Risen. Is he dead? Did he die? No, his chick died, though, in a fire. Or she lit his house on fire. Was Wasn't that his... Andre? That's what I said. Oh. Wasn't he the one married to TLC, mm. uh, TLC and then she burned T his house down? Lisa left I Lopez. Yeah. And then she died in a Isn't plane crash, right? though. And then she died, yes. Um, I think so. I think that's right, right? Yeah, she was like, no, I don't want... I liked Lisa left I Lopez because she was, like, flat-chested but, like, still hot. And she was a rap... Like, I think she was the best rapper. I mean, were the other ones... Chili wasn't rapping. T-Boz wasn't really rapping. I didn't really know any of their names. I feel bad I slurped into the mic again. I apologize to all the fans out there. They, they like the slurp. Check out my YouTube special and sorry about the slurping. <laughs> Wait, what are, what's the title of your most recent special? Um, this time last year? <laughs> that's a rom-com, you <laughs> douche. <laughs> um, it's called This Year's Material. I knew I have it. One I wasn't I, even that. There's one called I Hate Myself, one called This Year's Material, and there's a new one in the can right oh, now. Oh, where'd yeah. you shoot that? At the Village Underground yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. I just keep shooting there. Dude, that's your home. Yeah. Do you have a working title for that one? I think it's going to be called Enough for Everybody. Oh, wow. Yeah. What about you? When's your special? Is there enough for everybody? I know. I got to film one. Do it. All right. Pat's oh, like... I slurped again. I keep slurping. They're going to hate loud. it. No, it's not that loud. Every comment's going to be like, stop slurping, you fucking okay. beta piece of shit. What's that mealy mouth? My dad says stuff like that. My dad told me he was going to check my mom's doctor. Like, shoulder. he's like, I'm going to throw him a shoulder if I see him in the hallway. What did he do? And my, they just don't like the way he's been like handling my mom, this infectious disease doctor, and he has all these bad reviews online. So my dad, I'm like, what do you mean you're going to check? He's like, I'm just going to, if I see him, I'm just going to throw a shoulder at him. I'm like, oh, God. dad, you can't do that. Is your family still in Marshfield in Massachusetts? They're in on the Cape. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cape Cod, Centerville. 
Did you, you go to Marshfield High? I never remember. No, we always MHS. About no, I went to private school. I went to Sacred Heart. That's you right. went to Whitman Hanson. That's right. I always think you went to Bishop Fian, but that's because only because your name is Fian. I know, I know, I know. We used to drive by it all the time. I went to Sacred Heart. Uh, my little sister went to Notre Dame. Whoa. Where's uh, that? Weymouth? Hingham. Hingham. Weymouth, same thing. Hingham's nicer. South Shore. Wow, look at this guy. This guy has horrible reviews. Horrible reviews. Oh, my God. Is that your review right there? It might be. I can't. Can I? Wait, pat on my glasses so I can't read. Like, see how Joe has his glasses on? The yeah. doctor is one of the worst I have ever encountered. Just ask the staff. I am sorry I met him. He's an embarrassment to any BH. Probably the the staff doesn't like him either. They all say the same thing. They're like, sorry you had to deal with this guy. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. Like my mom had to get an IV, like a pick put in her because she has a bad infection and they're like treating it aggressively with antibiotics. And he was like, all right, who's going to be, who's coming to the training to like teach you how to do that, like to do this for you. And my mom's like, I can do it myself. Like I'm a capable woman. And he goes, yeah, you know how to do you bump your own gas. <laughs> my mom's like, do I pump my own gas? What are you talking about? And then he asked her if, like where her mask was. And she's like, I've been here since Friday. Somebody should have told me I needed a mask. Like, I think you don't need a mask anymore in I, medical facilities. I mean, this Doctors guy sounds only. like a psycho. Yeah. I mean, the reviews like that are outrageous. Usually there's like one or two. Oh, that was like man. four in a row. Yeah. One star. Rudest doctor I ever met. What's the deal? Like doctors, once they're in, they can't get fired or what? Maybe he has tenure. That's what I said. I just learned about tenure. Did you say it just now and I ignored it? No, no, no. But I oh. said it, it to my dad this afternoon. I was like, hey, maybe he has tenure. But I didn't know what that meant as I said it. Yeah, I just found out about <laughs> tenure recently. And it's different than five year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> tenure means like you're, you're in and you can teach, but, but I think tenure is different than it used to be. It used to mean like, you can be like Robin Williams in Dead Poets Society. You can be like crack eggs on people's heads. Oh and yeah. You have throw creative gum in their hair. Like, yeah, okay. yeah. But now I think you can get fired for anything, not to bring it to like these days. Well, these, these days you whatever. can't crack eggs on kids anymore. <laughs> By the way, have you seen no po uh, Dead Poets Society? Yeah, wow. That's... It's very creepy. A guy kisses his, uh, a girl while she's sleeping. Oh, on the, the mouth, because he, he's like carpe diem, but baby. They're, they're, but they're in high school. It's okay. It's not as bad as the Revenge of the Nerds scene. No, Revenge of the Nerds is worse, That's for sure. Right. But Dead Poets Society was so sad. Remember the guy killed himself, right? Or was he going to kill himself, but then he didn't? Somebody killed himself. I think he killed himself, I believe. I'm looking at gay. Pat. He was born in 2003. He doesn't know what the hell we're talking about. Dead Poets Society, Pat. No? Everyone, who is who are all the boys in that? All the um, Ethan Hawk. Ethan Hawk is one, and Chris O'Donnell is another. Right, Chris O'Donnell. Who's that brunette guy, the tall one? He was in a lot of stuff. I feel like in the eighties. One of them, maybe he does kill himself because he got a role in the play. Right, and then and his, his dad, father's like, "You fucking homo you piece gay. of shit." Yeah, and um, there they are, Robin Williams, who also killed himself, not in the movie, but just in life. Laura Flynn Boyle's in there. One of the kids. Oh, she was one of the younger girls. She was in. I think she was the object of one of their affections. No. One of the kids is the one. Maybe she's the one that's sleeping on the couch yeah. and has a boyfriend, and the guy just kisses her on the mouth. All right. I don't know. Well, whatever. That's a fine film. I like it if you like it. What uh? What have you watched recently? I haven't seen it. I'm rewatching the the Jordan doc because I'm just I'm in all in on the country. Yeah, I'm watching a documentary about Jordan and Beirut. <laughs> uh, no, Michael Jordan, Last Dance. Uh, what have I seen? Is it good? Movie. Oh, it's fucking awesome. It's is Charles Barkley in it? Uh, I don't know that he's in it. I, I mean, like he appears Charles in Barkley. it. I don't know if he is interviewed in it. Is he? Maybe he is. I mean, they played each other. I like stories of like rivalries and friendships. Oh, then you should watch it. It's like the greatest thing ever. Him and Scotty Pippen. Yeah, Scotty doesn't come off great in it. But, he doesn't? Um, was he jealous? Well, he was like severely underpaid and uh, it's, it's, it's fascinating. They call him No Tippin' Pippin', by the way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He married that woman named Larsa, who's now dating Michael Jordan's son, I believe. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan's son is fucking Scotty Pippen's ex-wife. Well, I just heard this this weekend, wild. too. That's like crazy to me. There's a lot of that in basketball. I think Delonte West was fucking LeBron's mother or vice versa. Stop it. Yeah. His mother? Yeah, there's a lot of fucking the other guy's mom in basketball, <laughs> which is hardcore. How old's your mom? Just out of curiosity. 
She has an infection right now. She's okay. not fucking. I'll I'm let not you know saying when it, she's I'll let you know when it clears up. I just made me wonder I'll how old. You know We're too old for our moms to fuck. Like she, young men. She's going to get back on her feet. My mom <laughs> looks fine. Her stinky feet if it <laughs> runs in the family. <laughs> Yeah, do you smell a difference now that I've taken both socks? Off? I smell the, the the smoke or whatever, whatever that shit, the incense. What type which of is wood good. is that? I need to know. I want to know things. I want to know what love, love is. is. I, I want, want you to show me. Yeah. Who do you think has a better voice, pound for pound, if we both had to you. contest? You. Don't you think? Yeah, you have a good voice. What do you want to say? I want to know what love is. I want, I want you, you to, to show me. Yeah. And I can go deeper too if you want to. Do you want to know? Do you know the song that I like uh, by Heart called "Alone"? The band Heart. Yep. Ding 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 ding. No, no, no. It's like till now, I always go by on my own. Oh yeah, I think I know that song. I never really cared until I met you. Yeah, Sarah, you got you and Sarah should hang. That's her favorite group. And now it chills like, me pfft. to the bone. How, How do I, I get you alone? Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, that song kicks ass. You know what song I love uh, the most? Chick power ballad song is uh, Pat Benatar. Which one? We belong to the night. We belong to each other. Whatever we deny or embrace, for worse or for better, we we belong. Yeah, that's fun. That's a viral clip. <laughs> clip it. Put that right in my ass. I'll put it online. That's big. That's 20,000 views that's easy. That's so real. Yeah. That's not like we found each other's melodies. Well, you know, it's funny. I, I have a, you know, Mark Norman. You know Mark Norman. You've heard of him. He's a comedian. We have a podcast together. We got to get him on the pod. Yeah, I don't think it's hard to get him. He's no? been on a lot of podcasts. <laughs> I'm I'm a hard guest. I know. Mark will be here in ten minutes. Just uh, tell him that there's a uh, free anything. Thanks free for coming down here. Thanks cup for squeezing this in today. I know you have a lot going on. I know. I'm going to I'm going to see him right now. But I, he asked me to give. He actually didn't even ask me. He said he had nobody giving a speech at his wedding. And I said, <laughs> well, I'll give the speech. So he didn't ask you. He just complained like a Jew, and then you came in and did it. He see. He was like, yeah, no speech. And then so then I volunteered. I'm like, you have to have a, a speech. That's crazy. And then we get there, and, and he's like, you're up after my brother's speech and i'm like what the what? fuck so now oh, i gotta follow honey, family non-comedian open brother open for you yeah and he bombed, bombed. <laughs> <laughs> but to prepare Joe, for, joe's in the sideline huh easy follow easy follow. <laughs> but prepare to prepare for the speech though i listened to that song by pat benatar and i was like oh, thinking yeah. of all of our memories together i really oh, went that's deep so nice yeah it was very it was yeah. very sweet I how really many years do you think you've known mark for um, you, you probably know. You I guess I yeah met him in oh nine. We started hanging out like 2010. Okay. So t- 12, 13 years. We've been doing our pod for 10 years, oh 500 my episodes. God. That's why you guys have such a, It was really fun doing your live podcast that time. They just, your crowd is really great. Yeah, we got to have you back. Which one yeah. did you do? Where I were did you? one at the Fat Black, I think. Oh, yeah. That was fun. We got to have you back on. We're doing it with the Gramercy. We'll have you at the Gramercy. Yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, we're a big deal. <laughs> So, <laughs> Mark Norman, how is he liking marriage? Did you give any advice to him? Um, it doesn't matter. He's I'm not thinking here. of the advice. Well, I think oh. he's liking it. I don't know. But I did say one time uh, he was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't say this. This be, but this is good. That's the good. That's like the juicy this stuff. This is the juicy shit. But he was like, I don't know. He had something. Him and his girlfriend had a small spat. Nothing crazy. Okay. But I went, well, the first three weeks of marriage are the toughest. And he went, really? <laughs> he was serious and I was like no <laughs> that was a joke like and you could see his sense of relief of like okay that's what's going on oh, I'm, man, like, I'm just gonna get over this lump <laughs> no I don't think so smooth sailing um, but no I, I think uh, I think it's gonna be great you didn't respond so it makes it seem like I'm a liar yeah no it's great <laughs> no I was just thinking I'm like yeah why wouldn't it be great wedding yeah it looks like fun you weren't invited? I wasn't invited. Ouch. I'm too hot for weddings. I Yuch. never get invited to weddings. No, that's not it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's my alcoholism. If we got remarried, Sarah and I... You well, know, I was supposed to go to your wedding you with were? Lewis, but then he started dating Kim Kong now. That's right. Right after. Yeah, you, yeah. Had, you had an imposter at your wedding. She doesn't give a shit about your love. We have so many exes at our <laughs> wedding. There was so many uh, comedian women, female, what's the term? Lady comics. Yeah. 
less funny comics uh, at our wedding who are no longer with <laughs> their, um, their boyfriends. Your wedding broke up couples. Is that what you're trying to imply? Probably. They probably <laughs> saw what our love looked like and we they were like, never God, achieve we got to find a Joe List, an <laughs> alpha, an alpha with, you know, a heart condition. Uh, weddings? Yeah, I don't get invited to weddings a lot. Although I was invited to one this um, sep- coming September. Just don't make the face. It's insulting <laughs> to your host that's offered you something. It's insulting. Well, it's not the, t- it's not the, the hibiscus is kind of gross. Yeah. It's good for you though. It lowers it's your uh, BP, you. which I need. I bet you're going to poop and it's going to be fuchsia. Can you let me know if it is? Sure. I have photos of huge dumps if you want to see any of them. I don't know if you're into that. I take like, like f- they look like baby legs. <laughs> They're fucking the enormous. Yes. <laughs> with feet. Like no breaks. What's that mean? Like yeah, yeah, a big, like a full, spiral or a long one. Yeah, Sarah and I always say they're like balloon animals. <laughs> it's like that that initial like <laughs> it comes out with a little knot on the end of it. It's uh, it's unbelievable. You ever eat beets and then you shit and you're like, what did I do? I tried. To, I did a joke about that for a while. It never yeah. really worked. I was like, that's my cardio. Well, this just, that just killed what I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said I would drink. That's my my cardio is I drink beet juice. Then I forget I drank beet juice. Then I take a piss. Well, that's funny. And my you know my and heart like, rate oh. is like three hundred and forty whatever. That's funny. Oh thanks. I'm very that, even. My jokes I throw away. Are trash. better than mine. That's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> that's what I was thinking for sure. But I wasn't gonna say that. Yep. This is a great episode. I've never listened to you the show. You don't care about me. I love you. Are you kidding? <laughs> I care about you deeply. You shut up. I mean, I want to just snap the other two fingers. This. Oh, you think these smell? I do. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> take that fucking smell and multiply it by a hundred, and that's how bad it smells in here. When is that off? Do you want to smell it? Yeah. Yeah. Really smell like right here. Like this is like the. Really Have you ever uh, smelled a hand Ooh. before, Joe? <laughs> it's not horrible. It is, Joe. It's not. Horrendous, but it's it's a it's interesting. It's foot. I think it's foot. It's foot esque. What were you gonna say, Pat? I heard a story uh, recently about Joe sniffing a hand. Can uh, you get ready to talk? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> she yeah, was, sniffed the hand of Krista Stefano. It was bad. I'm still humiliated. Have I you think, heard this story? Just tell it. Doesn't matter. If I, I was it. at um, Colin Quinn's premiere of his new show. Yeah. And Jerry Seinfeld was there, and then he was walking by, and he's and I was standing with Chris D. Stefano, and then Jerry. Knows Chris and hey, said, hi, Christopher. And then they shook no. hands. And then after Jerry walked away, I was like, oh, my God, let me smell that hand. <laughs> and I'm like, this, oh, yes, <laughs> fucking Jerry. <laughs> and then uh, Mike Cannon was like, he is right there. <laughs> and then like I was like, what? He's like, I'm serious. And he just watched you do that. And then I like I literally out of the back of my behind my head, I just hear like, what's the deal? <laughs> and I look and like Jerry's like where the plant is. And then afterwards, I was like, he didn't like see it. And Mike's like, he, yes, he like looked he totally at you because yeah. his wife was standing behind me. I didn't realize that. I thought he had like exited the building. Right. You thought he kept it moving and said his hello and you were in the clear. That's it pretty was brave. But at least it was like funny. I, was, I wasn't like. I know. But did he laugh? I don't think he laughed. No. No, no. But it is funny. But I was like being funny. So I, ha- yeah. I don't feel like. I mean, totally you can't change it. Retarded. There's no reason to feel anything about exactly. it. Exactly. You know, I what are you going to do? Change anything. I have you a heart condition. You should have gone up and fucking Alpha Jerry. Be like, listen, man, you're lucky I want to smell you. I'm like, that's right. Joe List. Bitch. I should have been like, aren't you Larry's friend? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you did? I do. Sort of rode his coattails for a while, huh, bruh? Yeah, he sure did. Give him a shoulder tap. Like that doctor. Oh, God, my chest pains. Oh. They're coming back? They're always there, but they're not as bad as they were right before that. I think yoga. I used to do yoga excessively. We'll bring it back. Maybe I'll bring it back. Um, we're wrapping up. Yeah, we got to wrap up. I got to go. I know you got to go. Tell everyone um, everything where they can find you with the road and the website and uh, I don't know. <sighs> just tell them. Did you get sad? Did you get mad? I just wanted to like, I like things in threes and I couldn't think of a third thing to say just then. So I was disappointed in myself. You stink, you smell, <laughs> and you blow. <laughs> There's three. Um, they can see me. Uh, uh, YouTube is where you can go see my latest specials, and I have another one coming. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can check out my special this year's material on YouTube. Subscribe and at Joe List Comedy on Instagram. Get on there for God's sakes. I'm not great with the clips, so I'm trying to 
You know what I mean? You are you, though. You don't. Th- what no. Do you, do? do you have a guy? I had a guy. He just quit. Danny you Braff, you know him. Yeah. He texted me. He's like, "I'm too busy. You're oh, out." Oh man. He he blew it. He he, he fucked me. And then uh, I never have a guy following me around filming. I never do the crowd work and the stuff. I should. I will. Whatever. You can probably use Pat. Who's Pat? Matt Pat? All right. Do you do my things? What do you charge? Like eight, seven bucks a clip? <laughs> something, something like that. Um, yeah, I need a new guy. Because like everybody, like I started using Pat and then everybody started taking him from me. Stop drinking it. Stop drinking it, Joe. That was the last sip. I think this is going to help my BP. Your B- blood pressure. Batting practice. What? <laughs> um, all right. That was a great talk. I think we learned a lot. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Was that good? I feel like I, well, I thought we were great. I've never seen your silly show, but. We uh, sang. <laughs> we harmonized. It's a good, it's a what good do you one. mean you've never seen my we, silly show? I do see the clips. Didn't there used to be a co-host guy? Jared Schwartz. I, he was let go by the company. Whoa. Yeah. We had Bring HR. Bring me in. What? Bring me in. You want to be the co-host? Yeah. Though? Does it pay? We belong, we belong, we belong, we belong, we belong together. together. Whatever we deny or embrace, for worse or for better, we, we belong, belong, we belong, we belong together. Like and subscribe. Oh, it's only, it's only she is.